Hello everyone and welcome to Yoga with Orla. I'm Orla and today I'm going to take you through a gentle Hatha practice to boost the immune system. So to begin with, if you want to lie down on your back, on your mat, close your eyes and just focus on the breath. Being aware of the flow of the breath through the body. And with each exhale, seeing if you can soften the body a little bit more. Letting go of any stress from the week gone by. Maybe scanning the body now, starting with the head. How's the head feeling today? Feeling the neck, the back of the neck, the side, down into the shoulders. Can you release any more tension here in the shoulders? Letting go a little bit more. Focusing on the arms here, elbows, wrists, hands. Bringing the attention to the fingers. Maybe you've been working at home on a laptop all week. Bring your awareness now to the chest. So with the chest, when we feel a bit stressed or anxious, we can do a lot of chest breathing. So really we wanna let go of that and deepen the breath into the belly. Just for full relaxation. Bring the awareness to the hips now, the glutes, your bum muscles, hamstrings, back of the legs, quads, front of the legs, knees. For me, I was doing a lot of walking and running uh, the last week. I'll have to change that to my two kilometer um, distance, I suppose. But for me, I feel a little bit a little bit of tightness in the legs. So maybe it's the same for you. So just to be aware of that. And to the calves, the shins, and the feet. Just whole body scan. See what feels good today. Any niggles or pains. If you have any previous injuries, just to be mindful of them this morning, practicing online. Go at your own pace, at your own time. There's no rush. There's no competition. And what yoga, if we translate it directly into English, it means uh, the union. And that's the union between the mind, the body, and the soul. So thinking of that today. We're also gonna focus on some twisting today, or twists. Um, twists are great for detoxifying the body and boosting our immune system, which is what I think would be really important for us as well right now. So lying where you are, bend the knees up, feet on the ground, still lying on your back. And we're just gonna start to link the breath with the movement. So you can start to in inhale your arms up and over the head, and then exhaling them back down by your side. And you're just going at your own time, at your own pace now, inhaling the arms up and exhaling the arms down by your side. And really being aware now is one hand or one arm moving faster than the other, or slower than the other. And you can open your eyes to have a little look to see if one hand is reaching um, up or down before the other hand. And then maybe close your eyes and see if you can feel it. See if you can really try to make them both move at the exact same time. And it's difficult. And sometimes without being aware of it unconsciously, we're using muscles or moving in ways we weren't aware of. Lovely. Bring the hands all the way down on your next exhale, wherever you are in the breath cycle. And then gently rolling to your right hand side. Once you're there, 
pushing yourself up with your hands to come to a seated position. So you're just coming to a comfortable seated position and everyone will have a different seated position. So for me, I'm seated cross-legged, but you can grab a cushion to prop yourself up a little bit more and you can put the legs out in front. So you can keep the feet on the ground or you can push the legs so they're straight out. Just whatever feels good for you. And the, to have a cushion or a block or a book underneath you is just giving you a little bit more height, a little bit more length in the spine. So once we're here, we're starting to gently roll the shoulders back nice and easy. And we don't really want to hear the snap, crackle, pop. So just go nice and gentle. Maybe make the circles a little bit smaller. And then circling the other way. So really just waking up these muscles in the shoulders here. You can hold a lot of tension, especially if you're stressed or anxious. Trying to loosen everything up this morning, letting go of any tension. And then if we bring the shoulders up to the ears, squeezing them up, lots of tension, and then letting them go, release nice and gentle. We'll do that again one more time. Bring the shoulders up to the ears, and then gently letting them go. I'm thinking of a string pulling the top of your head up to the ceiling so that we're maybe lifting up a little bit higher and thinking of a straight, nice long spine here. And bringing your awareness back to the breath if you've lost it or if your mind starts to wander at all throughout the practice, just bringing it back to the breath. So gently looking over your right shoulder now and just stretching the neck here, back to center over the left shoulder. And you can go at your own time, just looking over each shoulder using this as research to feel how the neck is today. Does one side feel a bit freer than the other? It's really moving nice and easy. And coming back to center, we're gonna do the same looking up to the sky and looking down towards the chest. Just up and down. Again, researching how does that feel in the neck? Lovely and back to center. Bringing the hands, deep inhale, lifting them all the way up and deep exhale, lowering them down. And again, we're doing something similar to what we're doing lying down, just inhaling those arms up, reaching up and exhale, lower them down, <laughs> lowering them down. Inhale up, going at your own time, your own pace. And maybe if you think using your own kind of sense of tension, so as if you might have um, beans, tins of beans in both hands when you're lifting up. And then when you're pressing down, you're pressing through water. So we're using the arm muscles here, they're strong. We're not kind of just hanging out. Maybe like a, a bottle opener, a wine bottle opener, if you think of the corkscrew of the arms here. And once we inhale, on your inhale, when we're up again, linking those thumbs and see if you can pull the arms apart with the palms still clasped. Just again, waking up those arm muscles. And now we're gonna bring our right hand down towards the mat. Deep stretch up, inhale, that left arm. And then gently walking the right hand along the mat, stretching over side stretch. Really gentle here. And you can start to bring some movement into this side stretch. So just inhaling a little bit up and then maybe exhale, bending a little bit further. Just nice and easy this morning, nice and gentle. And on your next inhale, coming all the way back up to center, clasping those thumbs again. We'll do the same on the other side. The left arm goes down this time, and then your right arm stretches over to the side. And maybe again, bringing a little bit of movement here, just going side to side, inhaling and exhaling. Calming the mind. One more time over. And then on your next inhale, coming all the way back up, stretching up. Bringing the right hand now to the left knee and the left hand comes behind you. So it's our first gentle twist of the morning. And just you can look to the left hand side or if you can, 
over the left shoulder to the back. And with each inhale that you have here, deep inhale, stretching up, lengthening the spine. And with each exhale, maybe twisting a little bit more. Inhaling, lifting up, and exhaling, gentle twist. On your next inhale, bringing the head back to center, untwisting the arms and bringing them back up to the sky. This time we bring our left hand to the right knee, so the opposite side, and the right arm reaches back behind us. And again, looking to the side here, or if you can, over your right shoulder. And deep inhale, lifting up, lengthening through the spine, and exhale, looking over that right shoulder. So again, with our twisting, which we're gonna focus on today throughout the class, we're massaging those internal organs. And once we release, we're bringing fresh oxygen and blood to those spaces. Inhaling, looking back to center, and then bringing the hands back to center as well. Lovely. So we're gonna, if you like, you can put your hands forward and roll over the knees or bring the legs out in front of you. We're all gonna to join together in a tabletop position. So if you have a blanket, you can place the blanket under the knees to give you a little bit more support, whatever feels good for you. And making sure that the hands are underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. And once we're here, spreading those fingers nice and wide on the mat, pressing down away from the mat. Has to band or hand lock here. So really feeling all four points on the mat. We're gonna do some gentle cat and cow. So we're inhaling, looking up, lifting up, belly drops down to the mat. And then exhale, chin to chest, angry cat, working through the spine here, pressing away from the mat. Going at your own time, inhaling up, looking up. And exhaling, chin to chest, lowering down. So you can go as fast or as slow as you like here, working through the spine, waking yourself up. Again, if you want to bring some circles into it, some more movement of the body, just going with what feels good for you, moving the body around. And again, if you want to stick with the basic, inhaling, looking up, tilting the pelvis back, dropping the belly, exhaling, chin to chest, working to the spine, belly button reaches up, whatever feels good. Coming back to neutral now, and gently looking over your left shoulder towards your left hips. Just gently looking over, coming back to center and doing the same on the other side. So looking over your right shoulder towards your right hips. Back to center again. Tucking the toes, we're gonna to come to a bent legged downward dog here. So pushing down into those hands, lifting the knees, bring the hips up into the air and keeping the legs bent for the start of the day so you can start to pedal those legs out. Maybe faster if you like to warm up the body. Just bending the knees, re-bending here. The dristy or your gaze is in between the legs. Releasing that head, releasing any more tension, pressing down into those hands, shoulders away from the ears. And then keeping the knees nice and bent here, start to walk the hands back towards the feet. So your heels will hopefully come down onto the mat and we're forward folding here at the back of the mat. Once you're here, shake the head yes a couple of times, shake the head no. Holding onto the elbows and then gently swaying from side to side. Gentle sway here, side to side. Really seeing the head, the crown of the head reaching down towards the mat. You can keep the legs bent here. Maybe if you want to start to gently straighten them, you can as well. And then coming back to center, releasing those arms. And we're going to roll up like a rag doll. So bend the knees, roll up through the spine really slowly, really easily. And once you're up, let's roll the shoulders back. Inhale, the arms reaching up, stretching up, and then exhale, lowering those arms down. Placing the hands on the hips here, just start to bring some movement into the hips, circling around. You can bend the knees, circling one way, and then circling the other way. Nice and easy. Coming back to center, about hip width distance between the feet. 
Not to make two fists, if you're not too sure. And then gently lifting the right foot up off the mat. You can keep the toes on the ground, just start to circle the ankles of the right foot. Or the ankle, only one ankle. Um, nice and easy circles here. If you want to work on the balance, you can lift the foot up, circling one way and then circling the other way. If you fall over, that's okay. And then gently placing that right foot back onto the mat, picking up the left, doing the same here. Just gentle circles, nice and easy. If you're balancing, thinking of that strong standing leg. And then gently lowering that foot onto the mat. Thinking here, bringing the weight back, lifting all the toes up away. And then spreading the toes one by one back onto the mat. Little toe, fourth, third, second, big toe. We're gonna to do that again. Maybe they all flop down at once for you. So lifting the toes up away from the mat, the weight is going back onto the heels. And then placing the toes down, pinky, fourth toe, third, second, first. Lovely. Hands back onto the hips now and shifting the weight forward, lifting heels up away from the mat, coming up onto the toes, maybe a bit of a balance here, gently lowering down. And again, focusing the weight into the balls, the front of the feet, and inhale, lifting up, exhale, lowering down. Lovely. Bring the hands now down by your side, bending the knees a little bit. We're going to do like a gentle moving standing twist here to bring some warmth into the body. So you're just swaying from side to side and maybe the hands are wrapping around the body. And you can start maybe by going nice and slow. Inhale the center, exhale turn. Or maybe you have your own breath here. You can open the mouth if you like. And then building up a little bit of speed, a little bit faster. Just gentle twists. And using the body, giving it a slap when you turn from side to side, letting go of any tension or any stress in the week. Mobilizing the spine here, twisting, turning. Bring some warmth in, keep going. Deep inhale, let go, exhale. Warming up through the body here. And then gently start to slow it down, nice and easy. Coming back to center. Really easy. Letting go. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Lovely. So we're going to come to the front of our mats now, walking to the front, and we'll do our first sun salutation of the day. So this is great to rewarm really the whole body, bring the heart rate up if it isn't up already. I'm bringing the feet together in the front of the mat, or if you need to have a little bit of a distance, you can. Standing strong to Dasana to begin with. So roll those shoulders back, open the chest, hands down by your side, thinking of strong legs. So it's quite a simple posture, but really for you, you're trying to work on all those little bits that you might need to, if that's your overarching the spine, bringing it in, maybe using the abdominals here, belly button to spine, opening up, maybe you're hunched over a lot from working, so reopening up those shoulders now. And then we inhale, lift the arms up, stretching up. Exhale, bend the knees, lowering down, hands on the thighs and the shins or either side of the feet. We inhale, look up, halfway lift, maybe gently straightening the legs and exhale, forward fold. Lifting the left leg now and bringing it to the back of the mat in a high lunge. Fingertips grounding into the mat or hands grounding down into the mat, pushing away. Lifting that right leg back to join the left, so you're in a high plank or a half plank, whatever feels good for you. Once we're here, shifting the weight forward and back, waking up the body a bit more. If you're in half plank, that's okay. Just holding there. Deep inhale here, deep exhale. Really using those muscles. And then gently lower to half plank if you're not there already. Flip the feet onto the mat. And then we gently lower chin and chest all the way down. Once we're here, roll the shoulders back, inhale, look up, gentle cobra. And then exhale, lowering down. Pressing into the hands, coming through tabletop, tucking those toes and lifting up into downward facing dog. Some of you can see you want to walk a little bit closer towards the hands. And then keeping that hip width distance between the legs. Your drifty or gaze is in between the legs. 
looking down between them there, shoulders rolling away from the ears, hands pressing down into the mat. You can keep the knees bent here if you like as well. And you can pedal the legs out a little bit more if you want to warm up some more or if you're feeling in the mood. And then we inhale, looking forward in between the hands now and step, jump, walk or hop to the front of the mat into a forward fold here at the front. We inhale, look up, halfway lift and exhale, lowering down, forward fold. We then inhale, lifting the arms, coming all the way up, stretching up, reaching up and then exhale, lower those hands down by your side. Lovely. We're going to do that again, just going to go to the other side, but you can stay where you are. So standing strong to Dasana, then we inhale, lifting the hands up, stretching up, reaching up, bend the knees, exhale, lowering down, forward fold. We inhale, look up, halfway lift, and exhale, forward fold. Lifting the right leg this time, and bringing it to the back of the mat in a high lunge. Pressing down, grinding down the fingertips into the mat or the hands down into the mat. Lifting that left leg to join the right or the back of the mat. Bring yourself to a high plank. You can gently lower the knees here if you like to half plank, whatever feels good. And shift the weight forward and back here, warming up the abdominals, squeezing the glutes, working the legs, and then gently lowering the knees down to the mat. Flipping those feet onto the mat here. And then exhale, chin, chest, everything lowers down. Rolling the shoulders, inhale, look up, gentle cobra, exhale, lowering down. Tucking the toes, coming through tabletop, lifting those hips into the air, coming to downward facing dog. So again, for some of you, you might want to walk those feet in a little bit closer towards the hands. And then once we're here, you can start to straighten the legs if you like, lift the heels up. And then exhale, lower those heels towards the mat. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Belly button towards the spine. Drift to your gaze as in between the legs, looking towards those feet maybe. And really pushing, grinding down into those hands. On your next inhale, we look forward in between the hands and we walk, step or jump towards the front of the mat. Once we're here, forward fold. We inhale, look up, halfway lift, and exhale, lowering down, maybe stretching a little bit more. We inhale, coming all the way up, stretching up, lifting up, reaching up, and exhale, lower those hands down by the side. Lovely. So where you are in front of the mat, gonna step your left leg back to the back of the mat. So you want about a three foot, four foot distance here, and then you're gonna turn the left foot um, at a 90 degree angle to the side. So it's facing the side of your mat. And you're gonna bend that front right knee. Bringing the hands up shoulder height distance here. So we're in a warrior two pose. We inhale, looking over that right hand. Exhale, grounding down into those legs. For some of you, you might wanna make that stance a little bit wider. Nice. Deep inhale here, deep exhale. If you want, you can start to bend that right knee a little bit more, making sure that that knee is not rolling in. It's going out over those toes. Squeeze the glutes here to open up the hips a little bit more. Strong hands as if someone is pulling you in both directions. Now we inhale, turn the right hand up to face the ceiling. Exhale, ground down into that back left leg. And then inhale, lifting up. Bring the left hand back to the left leg. Right arm stretches over. Exhale, coming back to center. We'll do that again. We inhale, turn the right palm up to the ceiling. And then exhale, flowing back. Nice and gentle, nice and easy. Inhale, coming back to center. Start to straighten that right leg that's bent. Bring the hands to the hips. Turning the right foot in now. And the left foot turns out. So we're just doing the same on the other side. So you might be facing away from me. Making sure that that right foot now is facing towards the right hand side of the mat. 
and the left foot is facing the back of the mat or the side. Start to bend that left knee, hands come up to shoulder height. Deep inhale, stretching up, shoulders down, away from the ears. Exhale, grounding that back, right foot, toes into the mat. Inhale, looking over the left hand, making sure that that left knee is going over the toes and not rolling in. Squeeze the glutes maybe to open up in the hips here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. On your next inhale, returning the left palm up to face the ceiling. Exhale, grounding down with that back right foot. And we inhale, lift that left hand up and away. Right hand down towards the right leg. Exhale, back to warrior two. Turn the palm facing up. Inhale, stretching up, stretching back. Exhale, back to warrior two. And one more time, turning the palm up. Inhale, flowing, moving back. And exhale, back to warrior two. Lovely. Placing the hands on the hips now. Start to straighten that left leg and turn the left foot in. So we're gonna do wide-legged forward fold here. Make sure that the toes are kind of pigeon toe facing each other and the heels are coming out. If you've got any back problems, hips, legs, you can have a gentle bend of the knees here. Placing the hands on the hips, inhale, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. From the hips here, belly button towards the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Once you're here halfway, inhale, lift up and exhale. Forward fold, crown of the head is reaching towards the ground. You can place the hands on the thighs, on the shins, on the mat if they reach. We're grabbing on yogi toe hold here. If you have a book or um, a block that you wanted to use, you can have that here as well. Deep inhale, deep exhale. With each inhale, you're making space, belly button towards the spine, grinding down into those feet. And with each exhale, you're forward folding a little bit more, a little bit deeper. Maybe you want to shift the weight to the outside of the feet. Or maybe for you, you need to roll the feet in a little bit, bringing the weight to the inside. If you imagine as well that there's a big beach ball in between your legs and the thighs are squeezing that ball, so you're working those inner thigh muscles as well here. And then we inhale, looking forward, halfway lift. Exhale, bring those hands back to the hips. We inhale, come all the way back up. Lovely. Now bend those knees and then we're going to jump the feet together. <laughs> Lovely, really nice. So we're going to do a tree pose here. So grinding down into those feet. And we're going to bring the right knee bent, turn it out to the side and bring that right heel to the top of the left ankle. So for some of you, this might be enough. And you're just focusing, working on the balance, lifting those toes up off the ground. For some of you, you might wanna lift that leg up to the shin below the knee. And then again, some of you might wanna lift that foot up and place it on the thigh above the knee. So there's three variations there. Do whatever works for you. And once you're there, picking a point in front of you to focus on where the drifty is, Deep inhale here, deep exhale. Rolling the shoulders back away from the ears, opening the chest, grinding down into that standing leg. And really, tree poses are all about the balance. And if you fall out of it, just come back in. Some of you might be doing a little bit of a dance, and that's okay. For me, I can really feel on this left foot anyway, all the little muscles kind of shaking and vibrating. They're just working here together. Then if you like, inhale, lifting the hands up, spreading them out like branches of a tree. So we're coming towards the end of the month of March. April will be coming, the days are getting a bit brighter. Flowers and trees awakening, I suppose. So grounding down into that strong standing leg like roots of a tree spreading down. And then nice and strong trunk and arms spreading out like branches. Bring those hands back together now if they're apart. Back to the center of your chest. Deep inhale. 
Deep exhale, gently grab and hold that foot or the knee, wherever you are, bringing it back down gently to the mat, turning the knee in, placing that foot on the mat. Wiggle the knees here a little bit, shaking out anything, shake the hands, the whole body is shake. Lovely. We'll do the same on the other side. So grinding down into that right foot, then gently lifting the left knee, turning the left knee out towards the side. Bring that left heel above the right ankle. And again, if this is enough here for you, just playing with the balance, lifting those toes up off the mat. If you want to go a little bit further, you can place the foot underneath the knee. And then further again, you can pick up that foot and place it on the top of the thigh above the knee. Whatever feels good for you. If the foot is up here in the thigh, you're thinking of the foot going into the thigh and the thigh going into the foot, if that makes sense for some of you. So this kind of working on both sides here. Placing the hands in the center of the chest, picking a point in front of you to refocus on, and then letting go. Inhaling, thinking of the crown of the head, reaching up to the ceiling. Exhaling, grounding down into that standing right foot. And again, if you fall over, do a little dance. Just come back to the posture. Working on your balance here. We can inhale, lifting those hands up, spreading them wide like branches of a tree. Thinking of the roots grounding down into that right foot underneath the mat. Thinking of the branches spreading out of your hands here. We can lifting up in the knees with a strong right leg. Maybe squeeze the glutes here to open up the hips a little bit more. And not forgetting your deep breath. Lovely. Inhale, bring those hands back together if you're not there already. Down the center of the chest. Maybe one side is a little bit better than the other. That's all right. And then if your leg is up by your thigh, grab and hold that foot. And just releasing it down or holding onto your knee to release it. Once you're here, wiggling the hips, shaking everything out, releasing any more tension. Lovely. Coming to the front of your mat now. And we're going to inhale, reaching those hands up. Exhale, bend the knees into kind of like a chair pose. And then we lower the hands down to the center. We're going to inhale, lift that left hand out to the side. Gentle standing twist here, reaching back. Exhale, closing that left hand. Do the same with the right hand side. So our right hand lifts out to the side, looking back towards our right hand. And then bringing it back to center. Making sure, grounding down in those feet, making sure the knees, you can still see your toes. So have a quick look down, can you still see your toes here? And if not, bring those knees a little bit further back. So we inhale, lift the left hand out to the side, looking back with the left hand, gentle twist. Exhale, bring it back to center. Inhale, lifting the right hand back, looking over that right hand, and then exhale, bring it back to center. Lovely. Gently lowering those hands down by your side, rolling all the way down. Hands reaching the mat, bending the knees. Step the left leg back, tabletop position, right leg back to tabletop. So a nice tabletop position here. Nice and gentle, wiggle those hips from side to side. Really easy. Once we're here, coming to a neutral position, so making sure those hands are under the shoulders. And we're just gonna inhale, slide that left hand away from you up into the air. So we're focusing now, balancing on three points of contact with the mat. Exhale, lower that left hand down. And then our right hand slides up in the daffodils here beside me <laughs> and lowering down. Do the same with our left leg. So left leg slides away and up, lifting. Maybe you need to bend the knee if you don't have a lot of space. And exhale, lowering that left leg down. Right leg now slides out along the mat, lifts up, bend the knee if you need to. And then lowering that right leg all the way down. So now the challenge starts. We're focusing on balancing the opposite sides. So we're gonna lift our left hand and right leg. And really here, think of the belly button towards the spine. Think of grinding down into that standing or 
pressing down into the right arm and the left leg. So left hand reaches up and away and right leg lifts up and away. So opposites are stretching, reaching, you this side. Deep inhale here, deep exhale. If you think like you had a cup of tea on your back, I want to make sure that that cup of tea doesn't fall off. Deep inhale, lifting up, stretching in both directions. Someone has your hand pulling your hand, someone has your leg pulling your leg. And then exhale, lowering hand and leg back towards the mat. Great. We're going to do the same on the other side. So right hand stretches up, reaches up, left leg stretches away. Someone's pulling in both directions. And you have that cup of tea or maybe a toilet roll or a can of beans on your back and you're balancing it. And think of the crown of the head stretching straight in front. So your gaze is looking down towards the mat. And then we exhale, lowering that right hand down, left leg down. Bringing the toes together, spreading the knees as wide as the mat and just bring your hips or bum back towards the heels into a child's pose, wide legs. If you need to put a cushion um, above your heels, under your bum, you can do that. Or maybe you have a cushion just below your head. So nice and easy here, nice and relaxed, focusing on the breath. Deep inhale, deep exhale. So child's pose is a great restorative posture. If you ever feel stressed or overwhelmed, just really focusing on the breath for a few minutes in child's pose can help. Looking forward now in between the hands and bringing yourself back up to tabletop. So we're gonna do some light trailing the needle, twisting the spine again. So we're gonna place down uh, into the mat on that right hand and you're lifting the left hand, twisting up, reaching up towards the ceiling, looking up towards that hand. And then we exhale, we're treading that left hand underneath the right arm, between the right arm and the right leg, twisting the other direction. And we inhale, coming up, reaching up, lifting up. And then exhale, threading the hand through, threading the arm through. Going at your own time, your own pace now, inhaling up, reaching up, and exhaling, threading through. So I really love this um, posture or threading the needle because you're twisting the spine in both directions. And you're really releasing any tension, feeling through all the muscles of the back here, the shoulders, massaging those internal organs. And so we're twisting and tightening and then once we release, we're releasing any toxins that might have been held there. So one more time, inhale, wherever you are in the breath, reaching up. And this time when we exhale, threading that hand through, I'll show you on the other side, you're gonna come all the way down. So ear comes towards the mat. Maybe you place that cushion underneath your head. And that arm can reach above the head or stay beside you, or maybe you're bringing it up into the air, binding it towards the hip. I'm just holding here. Deep inhale, maybe belly button towards the spine, making space and exhale, really releasing, surrendering into the posture. Closing your eyes maybe here for a second or two, scanning how does the body feel. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Wherever you are, bringing that hand back to the mat and then pushing down into the hand on the mat, bring yourself back to tabletop. Lovely. It's gonna do the same on the other side. So just rearranging your hands. Maybe you bring that left hand in towards the right, in towards the center a little bit more. And then we inhale, lift that right hand up towards the ceiling. And then we exhale, twist it through, thread the needle, nice and easy. And going at your own time, at your own pace, you inhale, bringing that hand up towards the ceiling, reaching up, looking up, and exhale, going through. So you can go as slow or as fast as you want. And maybe again, using this as research, is there any 
part of the twists that feel a little bit sticky for you that you feel like, oh, I need to stay here and what's going on there? And just being aware of your own body, how it feels today. If you do a lot of yoga, each day is still different and our body can do different things on different days. So being kind to yourself as well. Nice and easy. So on your next inhale, wherever you are in the breath cycle, we inhale, stretching up, and then we exhale, coming through, bringing that head towards the mat, ear on the mat. Maybe you have a cushion underneath that head. And then the left hand can be beside you on the mat, or maybe the left hand reaches up above your head, a bit more of a stretch for some of you here. Or maybe you do a bind, so that left hand reaches up into the air and then stretches, twisting back towards the right hip. So going whatever feels good for you today. You don't have to do the most advanced variation ever either. And deep inhale, making space and exhale, letting go of any more tension, releasing. Beautiful. Bringing that hand back towards the mat and pushing yourself back up to tabletop again. Releasing that cushion, whatever you might have, and then bring your bum back towards your heels and just shifting the weight, bring the legs in front of you. So whatever way you want to do it there, whatever feels good for you. Maybe placing the cushion now underneath your hips to bring a bit more length to the spine or a blanket, whatever feels good underneath you. And keep the knees bent here to begin with for some of you. If you're more advanced, you can start to straighten the legs. We're just gonna focus on some forward folds here. So inhale, reaching those hands up towards the ceiling. Stretching up straight spine, crown of the head, reaching up. And then we exhale, forward fold, stretching over, reaching those hands towards the feet. And then wherever they go, just let them be. So maybe they reach the mat, maybe they're still up here in your thighs and your shins. Maybe they are reaching down towards those feet. Whatever feels good. Maybe they're underneath the thighs here. And then if you want, you can start to see if you can straighten those legs. But if you need to keep them bent, then that's fine. You're just letting go here. Inhale, make space, stretch up. And then exhale, forward fold. Maybe the head, the body comes a little bit closer towards those legs. But again, here you wanna make sure that those shoulders are not rolling in completely. So if you're up here today and that's what you can do, then that's okay, that's perfect. I'm just working here, strengthening through the back and the legs, the hamstrings. Deep inhale, deep exhale. And then wherever you are in the stretch, relaxing or releasing the head completely, wherever it goes, lowering it down towards the knees or towards the legs. Just releasing here for a minute. Again, if you wanna work on straightening those legs out, you can. If you need to keep them bent, whatever feels good for you. Then we inhale, look up, lifting up, coming all the way back up straight. And now you can keep the cushion underneath you if you like, where you can release it, whatever feels good. And you're gonna bend your left knee up. So you're bringing your left foot towards the right thigh. So one leg is out straight, now your right leg should be out straight and your left leg is nice and bent. And to begin with, you're gonna bring that right hand towards the left knee and the left hand comes behind you. And then you're gently trying to look over that left shoulder. So again, remembering the twist here, the spine, gently looking over. With each inhale, stretching up a little bit further with the spine, and the exhale, maybe twisting a little bit more. Right hand on that left knee, using it to kind of push away, making sure that that left shoulder is not creeping up but it's staying away from those ears. And then we inhale, looking back to the center, looking back, releasing that right hand. Bring the right hand behind you now, 
and the left hand reaches over uh, the left hand side of the right knee. And you're just twisting in the opposite direction now. So looking over that right shoulder, grounding down into those sitting bones, staying nice and tall. With each inhale, think of that string pulling the crown of your head up. And with each exhale, you're twisting a little bit more. And then we inhale, release the head and release the hands back to the center. So you wanna have now both hands either side of that right leg. And we're gonna inhale, stretch up. And we exhale, start to walk those hands either side of the right leg. So you're stretching over that right leg. If you need to put a cushion under your left knee, just to prop it up a little bit, if you have any pain, you can do that as well, or a blanket. And then over that right leg, just make sure that you feel, you lift up in the body, maybe inhale, and then exhale, straightening up in the body here. Reaching forward towards that right leg, or that right foot. And maybe if you have a, a band, you can put it around to help you a little bit more. But if not, just placing the hands on the mat here, stretching forward is good. Deep inhale, stretching, and then exhale, going a little bit further. Let me inhale, looking up, and exhale, walk those hands back to center. Grab hold of the left knee and bring it back up, stretching that left leg out, and then the right leg bends in. So I'll do it on this side just to face you. But the right knee now, or the right foot is coming towards the left thigh. And you can place a cushion under that right knee if you need, or a blanket. So left leg is out straight. And to begin with, we bring that left hand to the right knee, and the right hand goes and reaches behind us. And then we inhale, lengthening, and exhale, looking over that right shoulder, twisting the spine here, boosting our immune system, releasing any toxins. Deep inhale, stretching up, and exhale, looking over. Inhale now, bring the head back to center, bring the hands back to center, and we twist the other way. So the right hand comes to the outside of the left knee, and our left hand comes behind us. Inhaling, stretching up, straightening the spine, and then exhaling, looking over that left shoulder. I have a nice candle here beside me, so I nearly burnt myself uh, rolling over, but it's okay. I hope you're not burning yourselves with any candles beside you at home. <laughs> Inhale, stretching up the spine, and exhale, looking over. And then gently inhale, looking forward. Exhale, bring the hands either side of that left hand. And start to walk the hands along the mat, along that left leg. And again, inhale, straightening up. Maybe you need to bring the body more to the left hand side. Straightening up here. Inhale, making space. And then exhale, forward fold. Nice and easy, nice and gentle. And deep inhale, bring that belly button towards the spine. Exhale, shoulders away from the ears. Lovely. Inhale, looking up now. Exhale, bring those hands back to center. Bringing that right knee back up and stretching the right leg out along the mat. Bring your bum back to the center and then start to lower yourself gently down onto the mat. So you're lying down on the mat here. And bend those knees up towards the bottom of the hips. We're going to do a bridge pose here. So if you want to watch me for the first one, if you're not too sure, you're grounding down into those feet. And you start to tilt the pelvis back, lifting the pelvis and the spine up off the mat away. And once you're here, you can start to, if this is enough, this is fine, or you can start to roll the shoulders underneath, interlocking the hands underneath the spine and then gently coming out whenever you feel ready. So let's try that together if you're not up there already. Or if you want to come down and come into it together. We inhale, ground you down into your seat, and then exhale, start to roll the spine away from the mat, pelvis lifts up. Maybe you bring the hands underneath the back, interlocking them, rolling the shoulders, underneath the back. And then ground down into those feet, bringing the chest towards the chin, 
and then the chin lifts up towards the ceiling. Opening the shoulders here, opening the heart, gentle back bend. Releasing any more tension here. Whenever you're ready, gently bring the hands back to the side. And releasing the spine really slowly, really gently down onto the mat. Lovely. Window wide, bring the legs from side to side. Once you're down here, gentle massage of the lower spine. And then bending the knees, bring them in towards the chest and give yourself a little hug. So wrap those hands around the legs. Nice and easy. And then bring the legs to the right hand side of the body. So they fall over to the right. And you can stretch that right hand out to the side and the left hand out to the left hand side. For me, you might want to stay in a cactus, cactus arms if you don't have a lot of space. And you're looking over that left shoulder. So we're finishing now with a gentle twist again. We've done a lot of twisting in this class. But really focusing on the breath. Deep inhale, making space. And exhale, releasing any tension. Maybe you want to bring that right hand towards the knees and Bring the legs out a little bit more if you want more of a stretch. And looking over that left shoulder. Closing the eyes maybe for a second, feeling the twist to the spine. For some of you, this might be quite an intense stretch. For others who are more advanced in their practice, maybe they can start to Straighten that left leg out and reach the right hand towards the left foot. Again, just going at your own pace. And then really gently, really easy, bringing the head back to center and bring those legs back to center as well. Gentle hug with the legs again. And then we do the same on the other side. So the legs go towards the left hand side this time. I'll swing around so I don't burn myself of a candle here. <laughs> so legs are going falling towards the left hand side and then you can stretch the hands out into a T or you can keep them in cactus so looking over the right shoulder towards the right hand. And again for some of you if you want to make it more intense or more advanced you can start to straighten that right leg out and grab hold of the right leg the right foot with the left hand. Still looking over that left shoulder. But whatever feels good, if you meant to make it less intense, maybe you move the legs a little bit further down, away from you. And then gently coming out of it, bring the head back to center, legs back, grabbing hold of those legs. Big hug in the center. And then gently move those legs around, little circle one way, massaging the back onto the mat, and gently circling the other way. Lovely. So we're going to prepare for a final Shavasana or resting corpse pose. So if you have a cushion, you can place it under your head, or a blanket, you can put it all over you. And you're just spreading those legs out as wide as the mat and those palms facing forward a little bit wider as well, reaching up away. Close down the eyes here. Just completely relaxing, making yourself nice and comfortable. Closing down the eyes. I'm gonna sit up and come a bit closer to the mic, but you stay where you are. So deep inhale here, and then maybe an exhale with an open mouth, <sighs> letting go of any more tension. Deep inhale, and then exhale with a <sighs> it's releasing anymore. And then we're letting go of the practice the same way we came into it, with a gentle scan of the body. 
So how is that head feeling? Can you feel the eyes underneath the eyelids? Are you feeling any congestion? Can you let go? Can you relax the jaw? I know for me, I hold a lot of tension here sometimes. Down into the neck. Can you release the shoulders here? Releasing the chest. Feeling the lungs expand. Can you make more space to breathe? Relaxing the belly. Relaxing those hips here. Releasing any tension. Focusing on the legs now. The hamstrings, the quads, the knees. The calf muscles, shins the feet, the toes. And with each inhale, focus on bringing warmth and positivity into all the muscles in the body. And with each exhale, see if you can let go or relax a little bit more, surrendering, letting the body melt down completely onto the mat. Imagining now a golden light of energy in the center of the chest where the heart is, the center of the life force energy within you. And imagine from that golden ball of energy, this light spreading down into the legs, into the feet, and up into the chest, around the shoulders, down into the arms and hands, up into the head, the crown of the head, forehead, the ears, the back of the neck. And this energy is creating a safe space for you. It's giving you so much light and positivity. really feel like welcoming this light into your body, boosting your immune system, helping you to tackle whatever life may throw at you. Bring your awareness back to the mind and how it's feeling and the thoughts running through your head just to surrender to them, acknowledge them. You don't have to engage with them. Just let them float in and float off. Gently now, start to wiggle the toes. Start to wiggle those fingers. Maybe start to gently shake the body from side to side. And just before we finish, bringing the hands to the shoulders, to either side of the shoulders, so crossing those hands over maybe. And just give yourself a nice squeeze or a nice hug. Thank yourself for bringing your Start to practice this morning, moving your body, helping to release stress and tension, giving yourself that well-deserved hug, that touch that you might be missing right now as well. And then gently bring the hands maybe to the back of the shoulders and give yourself a little massage here. So really gentle, really easy, squeezing those shoulders. A little massage of the neck, the back of the neck. Maybe bringing it up into the head, like you're shampooing the head, nice and easy. Nice little massage here for yourself. And then when you're ready, gently releasing those hands down by your side, rolling over to your right hand side. And pushing yourself up 
to a seated position. So maybe you want to have a cushion underneath you, sitting cross-legged or maybe on your knees. Just whatever feels nice and comfy for you. And then bringing the hands to a prayer position, the center of the chest. And to begin with, just maybe bringing them up to the forehead for kind thoughts, to the mouth for kind words, and to the center of the chest again for kind actions and intentions. So bowing the head now, namaste everyone. And thank you for coming to practice with me this morning.